Oh yes, it's going to be a beautiful day, and if it hasn't already become one, it's going to be right now. But before we get into the next little round of action coming from the Bee Gees, I want to chat to these guys and find out more about the magic you've been on this tour. That's been absolutely incredible. Andre, maybe I can ask you something because I see you guys kind of have like this cool demeanor when you're on stage, and I'd imagine when you guys are traveling all over the world, you've you're not really sure what to expect when you reach this audience. Mm. What sort of like uh, pre-ritual do you have and pre-show ritual do you have before like going on the screen? Do you guys like link up, get psyched? Is it shots? What's the vibe? How do you guys do it? <laughs> well, um, I think as a team, we just hype each other up quite a bit. So, yeah. so we try to, because it's long days. You, you, I mean, if you're on the road the whole day and uh, by the time you getting dressed for the show. I mean, it could be a long day, it could be tight, and the energy levels can drop slightly. So we try to just, like, encourage each other, like, you know, keep the hype up. And I always ask the stage manager, like, what's the crowd like? Because depending on what day <laughs> yeah. you're doing a show, on a yeah. Friday, like tonight, I mean, you're going you're gonna to have such a great vibe because people are ready, they've pumped up for the weekend. But if you're doing a Monday, Tuesday type show, people are like, oh, okay, they're back at yeah, work, that blues. So we like, <laughs> there's that front row people, they're like, they're kind of like falling asleep there. And then we always like target them. It's like, okay, we're going to get these people. Make eye contact with you. Make, con make <laughs> eye contact with them, man. At the end of the show, they're going to be up and they're going to be dancing. Uh, so. I love that, man. Post exactly. shots. Yeah. <laughs> Post shots. Post shots. <laughs> Apart from that, dude, what is that feeling like? Obviously, you, you would, I would imagine that some of these performances, you're getting like, big ovations, people going crazy. What does that feel like, being uh, honored to take this into that space and give people that feeling again? It is really electric, and that's why we were looking forward to tonight's crowd, particularly with the Cape Tonians uh, performing in front of them. We're expecting a big reaction tonight. We're gonna get lots of dancing, lots of fun, Lots of bad jokes. Sorry, Warren. <laughs> and, um, hey, I'm yeah, not no, the bad joke. Yeah, no, I'm the bad, yeah, but um, no, oh, man, everywhere around the world we travel, it's always uh, an amazing response with the Bee Gees music. And to a wide variety of music, they had a 40-year career in which we delve into all of those songs, but everybody loves their disco era. Oh, yes, they do. Now, before Warren takes the mic here and blesses us with his beautiful voice, I want to talk to you, Mzanzi, because something incredible is happening and a great opportunity for you to catch the cast of the Bee Gees performing tonight at the Grand Arena Grand West. But listen up, it gets better because it's Friday and we're feeling a little bit of that giving mood. So we decided to throw in an exciting competition to win double tickets to the show. Now, all you need to do is tell us what your favorite memory is when you hear the Bee Gees song and let us know on our Expresso social media pages using the hashtag express your Bee Gees. Yes, express your Bee Gees. Make sure you use that in the answer and the competition ends today, of course. Your T's and C's can be found on expressionshow.com. And if you need any more reason to get entertained, to get hyped and get excited for this show, then of course, right now, I'm gonna give you something special because Warren's taking the mic and he's about to deliver something called I Started a Joke by the Bee Gees. Enjoy, guys, take it away. <laughs> started a joke which started the whole world crying oh if I'd only see that the joke was on me I started to cry which started the whole world laughing was on me Till I finally died 
The joke definitely, however, is not on anybody and not even on you, Mzanzi, because you still get that chance to win those double tickets tonight, of course. Let us know what your favorite memory is of the PGs when you hear their music. And, of course, make sure that you include that hashtag, express your PGs. And that competition closes tonight. So get involved, because clearly you want these tickets. It's going to be hot. Don't worry as well. We've got another performance coming at you in just a bit. So don't go anywhere. The Friday feels continue. <laughs>